A 26-year-old boy has visited the doctor's office complaining of rise and itchy skin rashes. These rashes are mainly on the abdomen and the forearms. These lesions were created after being stung by a bee two days ago. The size of the rashes and the affected area have gradually increased in these two days. The patient also complains of the swelling of the lips and around his eye that has happened this morning. He denies any other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, headache, or dyspnea. The patient has no history of any special diseases, and only according to his doctor, his tonsils are a bit bigger than normal. But he doesn't need any special treatment now. On the physical examination, his vital signs are normal and he is a febrile. There is obvious swelling around the both eyes and lips. There are several erythematous, warm and rise rashes on the both forearms and stomach. And the lungs and heart are completely normal on the examination. Now it is time to evaluate this patient and answer some questions. First, what is the differential diagnosis? Second, what is the best management for this patient? We suggest you to take a moment to think about these questions before watching the rest of the video. The presence of generalized priority rashes after exposure to a trigger can raise some differential diagnosis. They are including urticaria, angioedema, cellulitis, erysipelas, allergic contact dermatitis, autoimmune conditions like systemic lupus erythematis or polymyositis, parasitic infections, and hypothyroidism. The patient's skin lesions after a bee sting strongly suggest urticaria, and the swelling around the eyes and lips shows that the disease has progressed further and has become angioedema. That is why these two diagnoses are at the top of our differential diagnosis list. There are several conditions that can mimic angioedema, such as contact dermatitis or cellulitis. That is why the doctor needs to take a clear history and physical examination to rule out this possible diagnosis. The laboratory test may be useful in confirming an underlying cause. However, routine laboratory tests are mostly normal in cases of angioedema. Following lab tests should be performed in all patients with angioedema. Complete blood count with differential, liver function test, chemistry panel, ESR and CRP, and level of the complement protein C4. The treatment of angioedema depends on the acuity and severity. Antihistamines and glucocorticoids are the main medications for angioedema that appears to be allergic. There are several antihistamines that can be prescribed, such as satyrazine, which is a second-generation antihistamine for up to 20 mg twice daily, or fexafenadine 60 mg twice a day or 180 mg once daily. Among glucocorticoids, we have different choices. The preferred ones include intravenous methylprednisolone 60 to 80 mg initially, then turn it into oral form and taper it over 5 to 7 days, or oral prednisolone 20 to 40 mg tapered over 5 to 7 days. If the patient has a type of hereditary angioedema which is running in his family, the doctor may prescribe special medications to relieve symptoms and keep the complement proteins level at the normal range. If there is any sign of swelling in the tongue, palate, or larynx, it means the patient has anaphylaxis and must be assessed immediately for signs of airway compromise. In these cases, intramuscular epinephrine should be given immediately in dose of 0.3 to 0.5 mg per kg. Since the swelling is just limited to the lips and eyes and there is no respiratory sign, the doctor is able to manage him in the outpatient setting, while warning him to go to the emergency department if he experiences respiratory symptoms. Some harm remedies and behavioral change also may help the patient to relieve his symptoms, such as Avoid triggers that may cause or flare the symptoms such as foods, medications, pollens or insect stings, covering the affected area with cold washcloths or rubbing ice over it for a few minutes several times daily, apply sunscreen half an hour before going outdoors and avoid being exposed to sunlight for a long time, or sometimes cold shower or bath can relieve the itch.